I'm in Toronto, where I've got four outstanding collections to appraise. Game Room 1. <laughs> I have just under 15,000 games. Look at this stuff. Oh, Hillborn Fuel Injected. God. It's my little toy museum. There are lots of them in there. Unbelievable. <laughs> Sounds pretty bad. <laughs> and when I'm done, they'll know the real value of their treasures. <sighs> wow. Really? Are you really uh, sure? I'm Andrew Zagers. I collect and appraise for a living. I'm on a mission to find incredible collections and uncover their hidden values. This is Extreme Collectors. Toronto, a city full of fine collections. I've seen three that blew me away. Look at this stuff. Oh my God. It's my little toy museum. I've still got to meet up with Carlos to do a final appraisal on Doug's harmonicas. Yeah. Nice. But first, I've got a line on a collection that can't be missed. Video games have come a long way over the years, from Pong to PlayStation. I'm in Ontario to meet Sid. Sid's got one of the largest collections of video games in the world. I can't wait to see this. Hi. Hey, you Sid? Yes, I am. Come hey, on in. Hey, I'm Andrew, man. Oh, man. I love this. Absolutely. This is Game Room 1. <laughs> That's Game Room 2. Oh, are you OK? <laughs> are, are you having a nerdgasm? You are kidding me. I'm not kidding you. We've got Sega games. We've got PlayStation games, old Atari 2600 games, Donkey Kong. <laughs> it's on like Donkey Kong. You never grew up. Who wants to grow up? Video games are awesome. How many games are here? I have just under 15,000 games. 15? Thousand. Yeah. When you have 15,000 video games, that's not just a collection, that's an obsession. This TV, you can hook up about 34 devices. You can play anything. Oh, man. It hasn't taken over my life, not yet anyways. I, you know, have a job, I have friends, I have other interests. A lot of people have accused me of being a hoarder, but I say, hey, everything is extremely organized and in alphabetical order. I love hands-on collections. Let's see what happens to you. How fast? Ah! Uh, spider. <laughs> I just, yeah, let's I just see what to... happens to you. I just wanted to see you get attacked. <laughs> Super slow. Oh, I can do that one. Ah, uh, see? That's it. Oh, oh, you did it. I got a point. OK, let's quit. All right. <laughs> this is Pitfall. This is actually the game that got me into video game collecting. So Pitfall for me isn't just a video game. It's like a time machine. See, you've got... Uh, yeah, that's the uh, Virtual like Boy. One of the few failures. Yeah, it actually produced 3D visuals, but all the screens were red. And after a while, kids would actually get headaches. And what did you pay for it? I paid 30 bucks. Hey, this is a $500 game. Wow, very cool. What's your total investment in this? Maybe $200,000. And what's it all worth? I kind of hope it's worth $500,000. I think that's half a million. This takes me right back. A 1980 video game classic. A game like this, still working, full size. I value this $2,000. We all remember Atari games, Donkey Kong, Asteroids, but here's one you may not remember. Extraterrestrials. Extremely rare. Sid owns a copy. It's one of only four known to exist. Excellent condition, in the box. I value this game, $10,000. You are the coolest guy on this street. You think so, really? I absolutely do. Well, thank you. That's very kind of you. The beauty of this collection is that there's precedent in the last year, year and a half, of entire collections selling en masse. Your entire collection all added together. I'm scared. <laughs> I really am. I really am. What do you think? $650,000. Really? Yes. Six hundred. Oh my god. 
I, I honestly didn't think it would be that much. It's really? Thank you. <laughs> that it's, is so good to know. It's so, so impressive. I don't know if I feel cooler, but I definitely feel a little richer. I'll tell you that much for sure. A lot of people that think that I'm just literally playing games, guess what? I am, but that's okay, because they're worse than cats.